Hi then boys, today we do the player analysis on the new John McGinn live team of the season card. We'll be discussing what upgrades he's going to get, discussing how good the card is itself, uh, whether it's worth completing and, you know, what packs you get from completing and, like, you know, what other packs you can get from completing this by doing other objectives. Um, so let's have a look at what we're dealing with here then. So, first of all, he's 5 for 10, high, high, 4 star, 4 star, left foot and control. That's not a bad start. He can play CDM and right mid, so we'll be discussing which, role, which one of those roles he fits in best. Uh, and whether he fits into any of those roles, to be honest, because right mid's a bit weird for, you know, John McGinn. Um, but he can play for Aston, he plays for Aston Villa, Premier League, Scotland. So it's a bit of a mid-linker there. You've got Premier League, you've got Aston Villa, but in Scotland, there's not too many great cars. I'm sure there will be soon, though. Um, great pace. Well, not great pace, but decent pace with the 83. Definitely going to need an upgrade of a chem style. Um, shooting. We've got 86 and the, the finishing and all of that ain't great. Um, so I don't think he'll, he'll, I don't think he fits into that right mid role already. We can write that one off. CDM or centre mid though is the question now. I think he will play CDM and do a job for you, but I don't know whether he'll do it better than centre mid. I don't think so. Um, passing is great though with the 93 short pass, 97 long pass, 90 vision. Dribbling, great. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Defending's good, physicality is amazing as well. So let's have a look and discuss what we think that, you know, he's going to get upgraded. So their next four games, Aston Villa, is Bournemouth, Chelsea, Brighton and Liverpool. So Chelsea at the moment are, a, a, you know, finding their form, finding their feet. Brighton Villa is always a bit of a dodgy when you don't know what's going to happen. And then Liverpool are Liverpool at the end of the day. And they could be in a very, very tight title race come that game still. So, um... Yeah, not great. I mean, Aston Villa do score goals, though. They're going to have to score an average of two a game. And um, they do have a lot of games where they just score a lot. And then they do have a lot of games where they just concede a lot. Um, Bournemouth's definitely a big one to see if he's going to get them upgrades. So if he, if he, I reckon if the club scores three goals against Bournemouth and they win, then I reckon he'll get both upgrades. Um, but it's, it's a very hard one to predict, to be fair. Because Chelsea, you don't know what's going to happen. Brighton, you don't know what's going to happen. Liverpool, even Liverpool now, you don't know what's going to happen. Because they've, they've, they've hit a bit of bad form now. Um, but it's a nice card. The play styles, let's have a look. We haven't got three play style pluses, which is a bit weird. We've got incisive pass plus, long ball pass, anticipate pass plus, side tackle, dead ball, press proven, technical and relentless. So, great card all round. In terms of chem style, I'll be going with pace and shooting if you're playing into centre mid. And then pace and defending if you keep going. Um, CDM there. But let's have a look at what actually the price is and what I mean by price is how long it takes to complete it. So you've got to win seven with um, five Premier Leagues. That's, you know, quite an ask. Concede one goal or less. Score an assist with a midfielder in six. Uh, play nine with three Scottish. So it's actually quite an expensive one there. But there's a lot that you can do with this card. So, for example, you've got the live team of season daily play. You could be doing three games a day and then do it that way. And you get a lot of XP from that, actually. And it's a nice pack, to be fair. You get a Team of the Season guarantee pack. Um, team of the Season opening weekend is something you can do as well. you just got to win a load of games. Um, you've got this one that you need, everyone needs to be doing because you get a load of hero cards. And to be fair, they're, they're fairly rated. So the, even the 89s and that, you could be slapping into exchanges and getting a load of players. Um, and then you've got the Warm-Up Cup, which you probably can't do for this one, 100% not. You got this Galazzo, you know, you get so many good packs from this, so just look what you get. You know, I mean you get eight, seven times four. Definitely worth doing. And then um I think that's about it, boys, to be fair. You got the Kone Moani stuff. Um that you could do with it. But yeah, there's a lot to do with it. It's a good card. I'm gonna be completing it, and I think everyone should be trying to complete it because it's not that much of an ask. It's, um three Scottish players in great, but five Premier Leagues, you could probably just do that with like your rivals and your champs, to be fair.